Hey guys, it's DC here, and today I want to discuss what you should learn before cybersecurity. So this is a video that I've done a couple of years ago now, and I just wanted to refresh it for the 2021 version because things have changed. I'm going to cover four different topics that I think you should focus on before starting to learn cybersecurity or just as you're getting started. These methods are proven to help you get a job and also bolster your level of skills that you have before actually getting into the task of doing cybersecurity. All right, so let's begin. The first item on the list is networking. And I'm not talking about computer networking. We'll talk about that later. What I'm talking about is going to meetups, joining online communities, and basically getting to know other people in the industry to be able to bounce questions off and basically become friends with. You may have heard the term, it's not what you know, it's who you know, and this does apply with every industry, but it is important to keep this sort of frame of mind when thinking about getting into an industry, especially if you're new to it or you know coming from another industry. Not only that, it is also super useful to be able to ask them questions like technical questions that maybe your, your brother or sister or parents might not be able to answer. Stuff like you wouldn't be able to find easily on Google, but someone who's working in the industry may be able to answer that question for you. And going to different meetups like this is such a great opportunity to learn different techniques for different cybersecurity roles and get a better understanding of maybe further down the line what you want to do in cybersecurity to be able to you know, target yourself more towards those jobs and the certifications that are required to get those jobs. At the end of the day here, it's all about you know, getting into a job after you've finished your degree or study or whatever it is you're doing. And this is a perfect time to do that. All right, on to the next item and it is experience. Now, if it's possible for you, I would highly recommend joining a trade school or a boot camp slash internship program. There are heaps of them out there available and there's even some that are built into different degrees, which is something worth looking into when you're getting into a degree. You want to know exactly what you're going to be studying, but also what they give back apart from the wealth of knowledge that you're paying for. I'm gonna drop a little bit of self promo here. There is a program that I've created with a friend of mine called Gareth called the Safer Internet Project, where essentially we go out to businesses and ask them for pen tests and then we have our members shadow us performing pen tests on these environments, as well as including different learning modules to be able to learn how to do pen tests, how to write compliance reports, all of that great stuff. This is a, a program that's literally built to give you that experience and that knowledge of how it's actually like day to day. Anyway, enough self promo. Many of the other internships or boot camps out there work in a similar way where they get you to go through a bunch of different learning modules. And with those learning modules, you, you know, gain experience on exactly how to perform those tasks. Experience is an absolute key in this industry. And a lot of the people who aren't getting jobs at the moment are either too scared to apply for jobs that ask for too much experience or actually don't have any experience themselves. And having this option as a, a way to get experience is super vital. So absolutely try and get as much experience as you can. Alrighty. On to certifications. Now, depending on if you want to go to blue team or red team and you know what exactly you want to do in cybersecurity, I've taken two of what I think are the most useful certifications to get started with, regardless of if you want to go blue or red team. The first certification I want to mention is the Comp TIA Security Plus. Now, the reason that I mention this certification as one of the two that I think you should get before or while studying cybersecurity is because it covers a broad range of cybersecurity topics and skills. It's a great certification to sort of dip your feet into, but it does require some prior knowledge that you should potentially look into. So things like Python programming, understanding how the OSI model works, things like that are probably what I would consider prior knowledge before going into the CompTIA Security Plus. The second certification that I would recommend is the Cisco CCNA, routing and switching. Now you'll, you'll notice that I haven't mentioned the security CCNA and there is a reason for that. Having a CCNA routing and switching is A, really great for your employability and B, gives you that level of understanding of networking as a whole 
not just specifically security, which is super, super useful. This is like the certification that you would get if you wanted to enter in as a, a junior network administrator and it, it will definitely help you get a job, which will help you get experience, which will help you then move into cybersecurity. With these two certifications together and a degree on top, plus the experience from like an internship or, or boot camp or something like that, and getting to know other people in the industry, you will be absolutely golden. You'll be worth your weight in gold for employers. Okay, on to the last topic, which is home labs. Now, if you want to jump on how to create your own home lab, I have created and you know I'm continuing to create home lab series, which will teach you exactly how to create your own attack and defense lab. I'll put a link in the description to that playlist. Now, home labs can be used as unprofessional experience on a resume, which is again, super useful. It's something that when I do one-on-one -on -one sessions with people and write up resumes for people, I definitely put on their home lab experience and you know get those people to actually do home lab experience so they're not lying on their resume. It shows a lot of interest in the industry and it's super helpful for you when you're trying to get a job. It also teaches you all of the, the sort of basics of networking, sysadmin and cybersecurity all in one hit, which is it's just awesome. That's it's really well worth doing. So home labs are super important and I think tied together with all of those other options that I've just mentioned will absolutely help you to get a job. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you all on the next video.